Well, Farhan, welcome to Durham. Um, obviously, you would have loved to have made your debut against Derbyshire, but the weather has put pay to that. But what have the last few weeks been like for you? Because you've been in quarantine since you arrived. It's been challenging. Yeah. And, um, you know, in South Africa, we've had one of the hardest lockdowns um, and we're still busy coming out uh, in a phased manner. So, you know, fortunately, I was able to to split up my 14 days uh, between a couple of houses and... and yeah, look, we got through it. Here we are. Um, excited to have played tonight, but uh, the weather kind of trumped us. Yeah. Um, what, were you able to do absolutely any training at all before you got here or not? Um, fortunately, one of my really good friends, um, his wife is a biokineticist and he's built a gym uh, at the back of his house, like a full-on gym with the rower and a watt bike and the squat rack and treadmills and stuff. So, um Lots of that sort of thing, and um, I had some chance to hit some balls as well uh, with the mates. So I had about eight sessions with uh, regards to skill work, and then just the normal gym and running in the streets. Um, yeah, it's kind of make do with what we had. Yeah, I suppose the the benefit to not actually getting the Derbyshire game underway is that it does give you an extra day now to try and prepare for Yorkshire, and you might be able to have a bit more of a, a net session between now and Friday. Yeah, actually, I had a hit with Frankie and some of the coaches yesterday, and it actually quite it felt quite good. Um, but it does give me an extra day, extra day of rest, extra day of prep tomorrow. I think there's a bit of a a warm up game um, to have a hit in the afternoon, which uh, I mean a, a rest tomorrow night, and, and and come down early on Friday and hit some balls then. So it does give me an extra day to prepare. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to Friday's game. Hopefully the weather uh, plays its part. Yeah. You've played a lot of international cricket with South Africa. You've played a, a lot of state cricket there as well. You have had a, a spell in this country in the past with Leicestershire. So, you, you have an idea what the, the English setup's about. Uh, yeah. In 2016, I, uh, I played 60, 20 games for, for the Foxes. Um, and I actually played at uh, Chesterley Street against Durham. Uh, I think Woody was playing as well. I think Keith and Jennings were still playing for Durham. So I've had some experience and I've played with, I've played with the national team and uh, played a few T20 games uh, against England. Um, so I've had, I do have some exposure or I've had some exposure to English conditions and um, yeah, hopefully that'll keep in good stead. Um, and why come to England at this point in your career? It's always been a dream of mine. I've been very fortunate to have had 14 years play for one team. You know, being proud to uh, call myself a one club man, although that that'll change this summer. Um, but it's always been a dream of mine to test my skills in English conditions. You know, play Red Bull cricket against the Duke, um, and at this stage of my career, impart some knowledge on some of the younger guys, and certainly play at some of the iconic grounds in the, the original schedule. Uh, the second last four-day game was a four-day game against Middlesex at Lords, and I've never played at Lords. So, um, you know, those types of experiences, I'm kind of chasing towards the back end, test my skills, and hopefully impart some knowledge onto some of the younger kids. Yeah, well, you will get to, um, if picked, of course, play at uh, Trent Bridge at the weekend in the Bob Willis Trophy. Yeah, well, we'll have to see what Frankie has to say about that. <laughs> okay. Well, good luck, and, and um, it's good that you're eventually here and able to play, and uh, hopefully you'll get a game under your belts on Friday against Yorkshire. Cheers. Thank you, man.